I thank uh, the uh, gentleman uh, for yielding. Now, let, let's talk about what this rule didn't do. Uh, first off, ANILCA did not grant the state of Alaska any additional authority to manage wildlife on federal lands. This rule is totally compliant with ANILCA. ANILCA actually prioritizes conservation of these species we're talking about here today, apex predators, on more than half the refuges in the state. As required by ANILCA, the rule ensures that national wildlife, wildlife refuges, that's what we're talking about here, wildlife refuges conserve species and habitats in their natural diversity. That doesn't mean you kill the predators so that people who don't have good hunting skills are going to have an easier time getting the caribou or a moose. That's not what they're supposed to be about on the National Wildlife Refuges. It actually prioritizes conservation of these species. Now, I just heard that something about this will severely restrict hunting and fishing on these lands. Absolutely not true, unless you say shooting uh, wolves and their pups uh, in the den or gassing them in the den is hunting, and we're restricting that. Uh, bears and cubs uh, would be killed during hibernation. Hunters crawling around killing bears during hibernation. No, hunters don't do that. Brown and black bears would be trapped, snared using steel-jawed traps, wire snares. Again, not hunters, not sportsmen. Luring and baiting grizzly bears? Wow, now that's, that's a real sportsman-like hunter with a lot of skills kind of guy or woman who has to use bait to kill a grizzly bear. Aerial gunning of bears by state agency personnel? That's hunters? No, not quite. Sportsmen? No, don't think so. And using aircraft to track bears and kill them the same day. Those are the things that would be prohibited. That's what's prohibited. Subsistence hunting? Absolutely no impact. What do we get? Fish? I guess, I guess the, the fishing thing would be the grizzly bears eat the fish, and people who don't have good fishing skills want to catch the fish. So if we kill the grizzly bears, they won't eat the fish, and, they'll, and so it does impact fishing, I guess, sort of, maybe. No, it doesn't. This is absolutely you know, inhumane, unsportsmanlike, and unnecessary. The state of Alaska is doing this just to increase you know, the, or decrease predation, the natural balance of predation, which actually creates healthier herds of caribou and healthier moose populations. There, study, there was a study done in 2015 uh, by uh, professors from both Alaska and Washington that showed that actually that having these predators present increases the health and the diversity of the herds of caribou because the sick and the lame and the old get killed, but the rest of them flourish and they breed. There'll be more than enough still to hunt. Yeah, maybe you won't be able to drive your pickup truck and stick the rifle out the window and blast away and get one. You might have to actually get out of the pickup truck. You might actually have to have some hunting skills and track a little bit to get the caribou or the moose. But now if we kill off all the grizzlies and the wolves and that, It'll be a lot easier. They'll overpopulate. Uh, you know, then actually what they'll do is they'll start going down to the riparian areas like happened, you know, it's a different ecosystem, but happened in Yellowstone. And uh, then the streams will not be as plentiful with fish. This is about natural balance. It's about federal lands. It's about sportsmen and women. Uh, and it's about prohibiting the state of Alaska from using its extreme predator control methods. That's what this is called, extreme predator control methods. That's all it prevents. This is a very sad day Expired. in this House uh, if this resolution passes, and it's long-term banned.